For so many people who are natural born leaders or you're in managerial or supervisory positions or better yet, if you know, you're know you looking to start your own business or if you are currently a business owner and an entrepreneur, for many of you guys, you know, you share the same gene, you know, you're wired kind of the same way. God built you in a way as to where you are control freaks. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it with the best connotation. You know, it's just how your DNA construct happens to be made up. You're a control freak, or at least you think you are. You would love to believe that you can control your surroundings. You can control what is going to happen. And that is not a bad thing, especially if you're a person who loves to push the envelope. If you're a person who does not want to take no for an answer, actually refuses to take no for an answer, you need that mindset. When I was coming up, you know, for so many people in my age range, being an entrepreneur was not as fashionable as it is today. You know, so many of you guys have the luxury of social media. You have the luxury of being able to really witness different success stories. And in a lot of cases, these success stories are younger and younger. You know, you see teenage billionaires creating things like Snapchat. You see so many of these success stories and for you guys, you're like, yo, you know what? I can do it too. And you're right, you can do it. But I need you, like I don't care where you're at on the process, especially if you're thinking about getting into the world of leadership, entrepreneurism, please understand, number one, you are not in control. I don't care as much as you plan, as much as you forecast, as much as you think you are, you are not in control. And number two, you have to learn to trust the process. Trust the process. On this journey towards success, I can tell you, you know, Steve Harvey said it best, and I'll probably repeat this time and time again because you know, he really nailed it. The road to success is always under construction. And it's just as simple as that. If you think of the road to success as a physical road, literally a physical road, that road always has potholes. It always has these detours. There's always construction guys out there with, you know, those signs like slow, they turn it around and it stop. And it's like, come on already. But that is what it is. It's You can have the best laid plans and something's going to come out of nowhere that you didn't anticipate and you're going to have to adjust. You're going to have to react. You're going to have to make your best decision to really take your company or take your team in the best direction based on whatever presented itself in that moment. And that's fine. But you got to trust the process. You know, I think because we would all love to believe that what is before us or what we're going after, that's our true destiny. But God has something else in mind. And sometimes he picks people, and I'm not sure why he picks them, but sometimes, you and I truly believe in destiny. I truly believe you can't fight it. There's nothing you can do to get away from it. If you are chosen to do whatever with what is yours, nobody can stand in the way of what's yours. No matter how hard they try, if it is your destiny, if it is ordained for you, it will be yours. But sometimes even us as human beings, we think we're going down this road towards success. But in the middle of that road, God has something else completely different that I just needed to get you to a certain point. Now you're going to serve a different person, a, a, a different um, purpose for me. And I think off the top of my head, Meek Mill. Right? We all love Meek Mill, top of his game, MMG group, big hit records. Meek is on top of the world. But Meek got locked up as a teenager and he has had this Achilles heel around his neck. Like he has been struggling with this 
in back in prison, out of prison, in prison, parole violation for years and years and years. So he, yes, he was blessed to be this amazing rapper, but God had other plans for him. Meek Mill could never have thought that this Achilles heel, this thing that had been the thorn in his butt for so many years would later come to define, define him, help to make him one of the faces, help to put him on the front line of prison reform and become a voice for the voiceless, for all of the different people who have, you know, committed crimes years ago and have changed their life around. And now they're still caught in this unjust system. He couldn't have ever imagined that this was going to be his destiny, but it's become that. For any of you guys who are old enough to remember 1992, 1992, it's a man named Irvin Johnson. The world commonly knows him as Magic Johnson. He does a press conference and announces, I'm HIV positive. Now, if you're old enough to remember what HIV positive was in 1992, what that AIDS virus was back then, it was a death sentence. You had about five, seven years tops. Like your lifespan, like it was not, you You get that news, doctor come and tell you that, it was like, I might as well start writing my will out because this ain't looking good. The medicines that so many of, you know, the HIV patients are able to benefit from today, they didn't exist back then. At that time, Magic Johnson had five rings, top of the world. Multi-millionaire ball player. But God had other plans. He abruptly, you know, his season is cut short. He announces his retirement. But look what he has become after the game of basketball. You almost don't even remember. Yes, we know Magic Johnson was a basketball player. But you almost don't even remember his greatness because he's known, for, his legacy has increased so much greater since that press conference in 1992. And what he has meant and what he means to that HIV community and research and really advancing the medicines. Do you think he could have ever imagined something that was so devastating? Something that sh I'd had to shake him to the core. It had to test the, the, the relationship with his wife to, to another level. Like for that woman, I'm going to stand by you. But to see what he's become. Not just in terms of HIV and AIDS research, but as a businessman, his legacy is greater than, it's ever than it ever was. Trust the process. Trust the process. We have the, the, the opportunity, you know, people like myself who were born and raised in New York City. Like New York City is one of those places where, you know, we experience the fullness. And I mean the fullness of all four seasons. You know, the winters are like Game of Thrones. It, it, it is like the long winter. It is cold in New York City. And the summers are blazing hot. And so often, you know, we're on this journey to success and we get frustrated. We get frustrated because we hear, you know, people who are very successful and have done phenomenal things and they, and they speak and they talk about, you know, what they're doing now and all of their accomplishments. You don't know what their journey was. You, 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 you don't understand that, you know, maybe there's no such thing, number one, as an overnight success. They were going through their winter season for years and years and years. And now you're looking at them when they are top of the game, making tons of money, you know, really, really are admired by not just their peers, but people who are trying to get into their industry. You're looking at them in their summer season when, when everything is blooming and everything looks good, but you don't know about their winter and how long that winter lasted. So if you find yourself, no matter how hard you're working, 
No matter how much you're struggling and toiling and, you know, you, you, you've been working at whatever you've been working at for so freaking long and nothing seems to be working out to your benefit. Understand something. And really, I need you to understand this. There is no experience that you have ever gone through or ever will go through that is not for a reason and a purpose. Maybe you're just in your winter season right now. But trust the process. Stick with it because your summer, it's on the way. It is on the way. And you don't know all of the different bumps, the bruises, the this, the that that you have gone through. You don't know how it's going to play an effect in your future. But one thing, when it seems like your, your night, it is so long and so dark, I need you to understand it is part of the process and you must trust it. Peace and love. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.